As a yogi, meditation is part of Golo Pilz's daily routine. He's been living in the hills in the state of Rajasthan for more than 20 years. Another important part of his life is constructing this solar thermal plant. Huge solar mirrors to reflect the sunlight still need to be installed. We have a new type of receiver which we can use to store energy for 16 hours, and we want to make this power plant a 24-hour-a-day operation, which would be a world first. There's no other solar thermal power plant which runs 24-7. It's hoped the new facility will generate enough power to support the entire Brahma Kumara spiritual community, to which Golo Pilz belongs. More than 20,000 people come to the town on pilgrimages several times a year. The Brahma Kumaras believe they have a special duty to the environment. Many of them have already installed rooftop solar units. These sun heaters produce steam, which the Brahma Kumaras use to cook food. They make three fresh meals a day for the whole community. Today, it's vegetarian curry. The Brahmakuris believe meals cooked by solar power are particularly pure. It's a beautiful thing, as I mentioned. It's the blessing of God. The so sun is created by God, so it's the blessing of God with us. Everything has become easy. We can cook for one lakh, 80,000, 50,000 easily. The plant is being part funded by the German government. It's a model project with the Indian government's national solar strategy. It aims to significantly increase the share of solar in the country's power portfolio from less than 1% currently. 100 kilometers away in Delhi, members of the German Agency for International Cooperation are discussing financial support with their Indian colleagues. Whatever is being used in, is available in India. The cast iron they're using, it's available in India. And it's a very simple technology. It's, it's uh, something which a, a very small scale uh, guy would be able to do. Right now the issue is how best to insulate the cast iron structures storing the energy. Uh, what about we're putting some SS ring around it? They must be cheap and easy to copy. Negotiations about how to plug the gap of about 5 million euros are still underway. Getting the job done is important to both the German and the Indian governments, who it's hoped will pump more money into the project. That way, one day it won't be just this spiritual community, but all Indians who will benefit from the technology.